excellent. The first time that we've qualified a four-man in Olympic Games since 1998 when I was in Nagano. Team Jamaica making history once again. The island nation's bobsled team qualifying for the Beijing Winter Olympics. But the legacy started here at Calgary's Canadian Olympic Park. More than 30 years later, there's still that great connection between the Jamaican team and Calgary. In those days, it was either the East Germans or, or the uh, US or whoever else was winning things. Then. Uh, a Caribbean country coming out of the woodwork to, to do bobsleigh was kind of neat. Nixon shares a fond memory of the team with me. He says when he met them, they didn't have their proper bobsled shoes. Luckily, him and a few friends had some extras and lent it to them. We arrived in Calgary and um, to, to a kind of greeting usually reserved for rock stars. Dudley Tal Stokes is a Jamaican bobsled pioneer. He arrived in Calgary in 1988 alongside his team members. They competed in the two-man and four-man bobsled at the 1988 Calgary Olympic Winter Games. Little did they know, they were starting a legacy. The Calgary spirit just uh, hit everybody, and especially these young lads, and uh, it wasn't long before we were all buying uh, Jamaican bobsled t-shirts. We landed in Calgary, went through immigration, we went to the baggage hall, got our stuff, went past customs. And then when we opened the door in, into the airport, I mean, all hell broke loose. There were uh, flash bulbs were going off and cheering. While Calgary welcomed them, the legacy story did come with hardships. The 1988 underdogs finished 30th place in the two-man race and were disqualified due to a crash that happened on this track in the four-man race. We didn't start from ground zero. We, we were well behind the start line <laughs> coming from a tropical island. And um, it, it it was an ambitious thing. Team Jamaica will be sending three bobsled teams, the two-man, four-man, and for the first time, the women's monobob. Stokes will be cheering them on while remembering his time here in Calgary. There'll always be a connection. Love the place. Had lots of good moments there. And of course, the biggest one of all in 88. At Canadian Olympic Park, Christy Kilburn, City News.